the president needs to get in touch with what's happening in the private sector what's happening with middle-income families from the stimulus bill that brought us Solyndra most anti-business anti-investment anti-jobs administration I think I've ever seen the president fails to understand the basic nature of free enterprise in America rather than putting out that spending fire he's been feeding it was simply not up to the task of solving a great economic crisis now, my next guest has a message for Governor Mitt Romney. You can't just rip the president. Gretchen Hamill says you've got to give voters a new game plan. Gretchen, good to have you. Uh, I guess the, the, the typical view of a challenger in any race with an incumbent overseeing a, a dicey economy is just make people aware how dicey it is and stand back and let the, let the bombs fly. Do you say that won't be enough? Why? I don't, I don't think it will be enough. Now, this election has to be about a referendum on President Obama, and that's normally what presidential elections are about, especially with a sitting incumbent president. Is it a referendum on his record, or is it a choice? If this becomes a choice, it doesn't look good for Mitt Romney. So he needs to make this a referendum on the president. Having said that, the American people right now want to hear solutions. They want to hear that he can work with the other side, that he can bring this t economy back from the you know, brink of basically collapse that we're looking at right now and offer some real bold solutions. All right, well, let's talk about what you think some of those solutions are. He has outlined some things himself, like big tax cuts, extending all of them all. But you argue he's got to be bulleting them one by one. The first you say is jobs. Focus on jobs. Explain. He's got to focus on jobs. Right now, that's a tough concern for the American public. You have the labor force at a 30-year low, the number of people that are actually out there working, and that is a key concern to everyone. If they're not working, they can't afford the goods and services yeah, that the rest of the American You're talking about simplifying sector. a jobs plan. What do you say? I'm going to give you more jobs? Or you can tell them exactly <laughs> I mean, that, how you're going to do that it. Was the that was the beauty of Herman Cain. I mean, his 999 plan. We all remembered it. No one knew exactly what was in it, but we all thought it was because he had something. He was able to market it. I mean, the, you look at Mitt Romney, he did put out a jobs plan during the primary. It was a 57 point plan, but no one ever was ever talking about it, and no one knows what's really in it. And all right, so he's got to keep it simple. You say the same with government spending, and, and you link the two, say the more the government spends, the more it's hurting job creation, right? Exactly, and we released a poll today at Public Notice that showed that the American public is aware that if the economy is down, it's because the government is spending more. They feel that the government is having a big impact on the economy. So he needs to outline some key things that he's going to do there. And look, you got to look across the sea at Greece, at all the other um, countries over there that are looking at a potential crisis. And this is one of those crises that we can prevent here at home. All right. You talk about streamlining the government and that sort of thing. One of the plans that uh, the governor has is to cease all regulations effective immediately. In other words, I think we had 10 a day. He would stop that and, close, and, and, and prompt an immediate moratorium on them and then quickly review the ones that are bad. Um, how effective would that be? This is something that we know to be effective because the American public sees how regulations and how the government is becoming a hindrance in their lives. I mean, this is a reason that President Obama has been talking about it as well and has over the course of the past few years. But talk is one thing, action is another. And this is something that he can show really quickly that he can do something on and make some changes and make some sweeping reforms that the American public will feel and that the economy will feel as well. Um, finally, on health care, I know this might be a moot point if the Supreme Court shoots this down, or at least the mandate provision in it. Uh, I don't know if it's a dead issue, but you say he's got to do that. But his big canard is potentially the fact that the other side's going to say, hey, look, you did the same thing in Massachusetts. This goes down, we all go down. How does he deal with it? He can't get caught flat-footed on there. Same for all Republicans. Republicans are really quickly going to come out and say, you know, depending on what the decision is, but they're going to say repeal, repeal, repeal. Now, that is not a solution that the American public wants to hear. They don't want to hear, great, you, you, maybe you want to repeal it, yes, there are bad parts to it, but the American public knows that health care has to be dealt with. Okay. I mean, the majority aren't satisfied with it, so you have to say that you're for something on health care. Gretchen, good points, Hall. Thank you very much. Gretchen Hamill. Thank you. All right, uh, President